Hello, squirrel friends. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we are answering the most frequently asked questions we get about Twiggy. Chuck, are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> You want to poke your head in and say hi? Hey. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Um, what's the first one on the list, Liz? All right. Is it a real squirrel? No! <laughs> <laughs> and that's exactly why people think it's not. But yes, they are real squirrels. We currently have two eastern gray squirrels that were rescued and rehabilitated in Florida where we live. Um, you just probably saw one of them run off of me in the earlier clip, but we'll also insert some clips of them playing around. So yes, they are a real squirrel. If you hear Chuck's terrible joke in the show, he'll joke that it's remote control, but it definitely is not. They are just pulled by a remote control boat. How did you catch the squirrels? Do you want to answer that one? Yeah, sure. So our squirrels are rescued. Um, we're licensed rehabilitators, like Sydney said. So sometimes the squirrels will fall out of their nest when they're babies, and from there they can't take care of themselves. So we'll get calls um, about squirrels that people have found, and we'll go ahead, <laughs> we'll go ahead and take them in and nurse them back to health. Um, if they can't be re-released, then we'll hold on to them, such as Wiggy number nine, which we will have a blog post coming soon, all about her. And her rehabilitation story um, from when Luann first got her almost six years ago. If you can hear a bell in the background, it is because our amazing friends with the Instagram handle at Maxwell the Squirrel sent us a harness for Twiggy number 10 and it has a bell on it. So she's running around playing and so if you hear that, that's exactly what that is. Question number three, is it hard to teach a squirrel how to water ski? Yes, it is extremely difficult to teach a squirrel how to water ski, but it is also a whole lot of fun. So it is a lot of repetition. They do have a short attention span, so it is a lot of practicing. We give them a lot of breaks, so we'll practice for about 10 minutes, give them a break for about 10 minutes, and then keep going from there. But you have to do it consistently, so we, practice anywhere from six months to a year to have a perfect Twiggy. All right, number four, how long does it take to train a squirrel? Going right back to what I just said, <laughs> six months to a year to get the perfect Twiggy. Some of them actually take to it a lot quicker than others. So it could even be a little bit less than six months, but it could also be a little bit more than a year depending on the squirrel. Yep, we've been working with Twiggy Jr. for Probably about six months now, right? Yep. And she's getting pretty good, but she's not perfect yet. One of the biggest questions we get is how long do squirrels live? Google says they only live about 19 months due to natural predators and urbanization. We have a squirrel currently, which is Twiggy number eight, that's in retirement, who is 11 years old. Anywhere in between 10 to 13 years is the average lifespan in captivity. What kind of squirrels are they? All Twiggies have been Eastern Greys out of Florida, except for one, but they have rehabilitated flying squirrels and fox squirrels that they did not make into Twiggies. Are they friendly? <laughs> yes, but just like any other animal, they get grumpy and we know when they're like that, so we'll leave them alone, let them have their space, let them run around or do whatever they need to do. But for the most part, yes, they are friendly. Another really popular question, what do our squirrels eat? Sorry, I'm watching uh, Twiggy number nine <laughs> attempt to go after Elizabeth's computer. Oh no, Chuck! <laughs> the squirrels love to eat electronics. <laughs> so you've probably heard when we posted our feeling cute challenge that Twiggy number nine decided to go after my brand new Mac book air charger, which I was very, very sad about, but thank goodness she wasn't hurt in any way. But we feed them 
sugar snap peas, broccoli, cauliflower, grape tomatoes, pistachios, pecans, walnuts, and peanuts. And Henry's pet box. Twiggy number 10's <laughs> favorite food is tomatoes. What about Twiggy number nine? She does really, really love pecans and walnuts. We kind of touched a little bit on this one a second ago, but are squirrels good pets? No, absolutely <laughs> not. And we say that with love because yes. we do love them a lot, but you have to understand that they still are wild animals. So they go to the bathroom wherever they want, whenever they want, and they are hard to catch, honestly. Sometimes when you let them out, you, you've let them out for a good two hours because you can't catch them. And most of the time they'll just go right back into their bed. But for the most part, they do sleep through the night pretty well. But we do not recommend keeping a squirrel as a pet, especially if you are not a rehabilitator. And please, if you do find one, go ahead and find your local rehabilitator. All right, and this one's the last and final question. Can they swim? Yes. They can swim, and no, not because we taught them. They are naturally great swimmers. Yeah. We actually use uh, water therapy to help with um, Twiggy number nine's rehabilitation. So that was really well. And then Twiggy number 10, she loves to swim. She, she is a it. great swimmer. She looks like a little tiny otter. If you guys want us to do a video on Twiggy number nine and 10, let us know in the comments below and we'll give you guys specific videos for each of them. If you guys have more questions about our squirrels and Twiggy and our upcoming tour dates, let us know in the comments and we're gonna do another Twiggy Talk video next month. Also, if you have questions for us as Twiggy's team, let us know those in the comments down below and we'll try and work some of those in into these Twiggy Talk Tuesdays. Squirrel All right. friends, out. Ha, 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 ha.